Hey, welcome <clears throat> future rich people that want to learn how to use Excel and be business owners or analysts or accountants. Um, this is the path to get there. So what I want to do is take you through Jasper Active Excel lesson one called Introducing Excel. Here we go, using the ribbon. And let me resize this so we can see what's happening. Here we go. Um, we begin by clicking the File tab. On the File tab, we're going to open a blank workbook. So you can go to New or you can just grab this one here. I'll do New for now and say Blank Workbook. It says, in the Office Backstage View, we can go to File. This is called the Backstage View. Now click the back tab again to get back to the regular workbook view. Click the view tab. On the view tab, you are going to notice how the text of the view tab is in a different color. Uh, let me see, click the view, activate it. Okay, so now the view tab is dark black before it was gray. Um, now we're gonna go to page layout. And on page layout, we're going to uh, select normal. Here we can see how the pages would actually print if they were going to print. We have nothing in this blank document, so there's nothing too exciting. Let's go back to normal view. Um, and do they want us to do page break preview? I don't see so see that yet. So. I think we've done steps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight because we are now in normal view. All right, so now move the cursors to the zoom slider. On the zoom slider, let me move this out of the way. On the zoom slider down here, change it to 200%. If you can't get exactly 200%, just use the plus or minus sign to get there. Uh, let's see, now we're gonna collapse the ribbon right here. So using this little arrow right here, I'm gonna click that, it'll collapse the ribbon and gives us a bigger workbook view. So to get back there, um, you can see a few more rows, click the ribbon tab to see it temporarily and it shows, and then it's gonna collapse again until I pin it so if I pin it, it stays where it was. All right, so now home tab. And they want you to go to the formulas tab. Now on the formulas tab, click a blank area of the Excel title bar to hide the ribbon again. Oh. So there we go, we collapse it. And uh, now it says click and drag the slider all the way to 50%. Whew, we're going down to make it small. If you can't hit exactly 50, remember you can hit the plus or minus sign to get close. Um, now drag the slider to the 100%. This is pretty easy so far. So there's 100%. Click on the ribbon display options. So right up here, ribbon display options now, we're going to say show tabs and commands. And everything's back. Now for some keyboard shortcuts. Let me go back and make sure there wasn't a step eight. Yes, we're good. Keyboard shortcuts. Press the Alt key. So let me click over here to make Excel the active window. Now, when you press the Alt key, watch what happens in the toolbar. Notice everything's a letter or a number. So now press the P, the letter P will give us the page layout tab. Notice everything has a letter or a combination of letters. So now press M to display the margins. Yeah, just a second, press the Alt, P, 
and then the letter M to display the margins. Now you can use the arrow keys to go up and down, and this is one way you can get through and not use your mouse. So let's hit the escape key. Hit the escape key twice more to get out of the shortcut keystrokes. Submit it and get it. There we go.